I think so many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that just that is just very much human nature. We've gotten soft as a culture. Yes. You know, I mean, of course we've gotten soft as a culture in the US uh, because the US has had an incredible 200 year run, right? Like this is just what happens. You know, so as a culture, you know, I can't speak for, you know, people that live in the Amazon River and I can't speak for, you know, people that still live in Belarus, but the, the American uh, culture is soft and that's a great thing. That means there's been enormous amounts of prosperity, but let's not be naive. I mean, people literally complain when somebody gives them the wrong amount of like extra cream in a Starbucks $6 coffee. My lack of interest in complaining is so high uh, and when I watch what people complain about, it, it breaks my heart because they completely lack perspective. And I, I genuinely believe my happiness and optimism comes from my perspective. Uh, even in political unrest times like right now, a lot of people are very bent out of shape, but the reality is is that it's just never been better to be a human being. It's, that's just the truth, that's just data, that's, that's reality. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a very fun time to be alive. And I think the way people look at the world right now, because it's such an incredible time, is actually the quickest tell to who they are. If you think it sucks or it's bad, you have losing pessimistic DNA. And if you think it's awesome and phenomenal, you have optimistic winning DNA. And I believe that to be true. And so, that's where we're at. We're beating ourselves up. Like, everybody sucks at something. Right, like we all have shortcomings and we all have strengths. And for me, it's like, why don't we just audit that? Like, why don't we just look at it that way and be like, all right, well, I'm good at this, but I'm not good at that. Like, and then, and then, and then I only focus what I'm good at, right? Like, I don't dwell that I can't fix shit around the house. I call somebody to fix it. Like, I'm not like, I'm not a man, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, like, like, you know, like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, we all, like, I also think it's awesome that I'm so emotionally stable and I'm the emotional backbone of everybody. Is that what a dude's supposed to do? Like, like these cliches, these stereotypes, they're so silly. I'm fully in love with myself. But I'm also fully in love with everybody else too, right? It's not like, like it goes both ways. Like, I tell people to buy into me, that work for me, it's because I buy into them first. Like. I don't need anybody to gain trust with me. I, it's there. Like I believe that the human race is so grossly underrated. We are good. Of course we have some bad. There's fucking seven billion of us. But like when you look at our net score, it's bonkers shit. Like do you know how much damage we could be doing to each other on an hourly basis and we don't? Like we're still here. Like we won, we're the alpha being and we've figured out how to stay together. This is insane when you think about it. And yet everybody wants to dwell on like somebody said something mean. If you wanna be an anomaly, you have to act like one. Like people want all these special things to happen but then they're acting like everybody else. And that gets into the Saturdays on in your 20s like or, or just like taking risks or things of that nature like if there's anything they take away, it's like, look, like you're gonna only be so pretty, you're only gonna be so smart, like, you, like th there's, there's things that are gonna be natural and then there's things that you can actually control. I do believe, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, I don't, but I do believe that work ethic is a taught behavior. It's something you do have more control over. And you know what really sealed the deal for me? Getting healthier. <laughs>